What is up guys, this is Enderx here. This is just a little bit of an off-stream um, update video. I just went back to the rocky island to get food um, to hopefully produce a much better farming system inside my Cyclops. So I am on the mountain island right now and I would I um, was just uh, assuming you guys would want to know what's over here. If you haven't don't already know. Um, this is also my first reaction to it because honestly, I've completely forgotten like pretty much everything that happens on land. All I know is this is the Degassi base. A bulkhead. Basically a fancy door, which I can put in my own base that will make it stronger. Basically a reinforcement. Good to know that I have that. Or should have had that. A lantern tree. Now this. This is what I needed. Lantern fruit. Lantern fruit. Look at how much food. I think it gives me water too. It does it doesn't give me a lot of water, but I can plant this for really good food. And that's what we want when we're inside a cyclops, possibly down at the bottom of the ocean. And PDA here as well. The first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, so this is this is actually somehow in order. I've actually oh, fuck. Anyway, there's a base over there, but um, I have I apparently have mostly everything in order. So these two logs I got from the um, jelly shrimp forest, and then um, yeah. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish. But I stare out of the window, and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access. But the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories... Shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. That's the first one, and then the second one where we learn about stalker teeth. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here, if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But... Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. 
All right, so those are the first two. Now this one, which I have not heard yet. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. He's obviously not very, uh, not very I'm happy right deep, now. I've been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. So that's actually in the trailer for this game, like uh, the trailer for Subnautica. That's what you hear. That's part. Um, it's a little weird because I think I'm missing some logs that show what happened, but they were the first people to land on here. They were, they were part of the Degassi. And I think their first base was in the Crab Snakes. I don't know why they built it there, but they did. And then, um, later, they went even deeper, which I have a thing here, but it, it was like voice log six so i was already here we go there we go so this is this is the crab snake or not crab snake this is um the purple mushroom 200 meters below sea level you want to go deeper look around us chief water leaking through the hull water outside the hatch we're drowning real slow if rescue arrives whatever shot us down it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off you see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are gonna follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. She does sound, um, sound kind of badass. So basically, Margaret... That's why they went. That's why they went deeper because um, Margaret was like, "Well, we got shot down. It ain't gonna stop." And of course, she's right because there is a base, or at least from what I remember, there is an alien research base way down the planet. And when we went into the Lost River, we already saw we saw alien sensors and stuff studying the big skulls that were left behind. Um. To deduce a, cu a cure, because if you didn't know, this planet is under quarantine. And we are all infected with this um, virus that killed the aliens that were here before us. And the warpers, their job is to kill anything that's infected with the virus. But since the whole planet's infected, that's why there's a huge gun stopping anybody from getting back in. Yeah, anyway, I want to just pick up, in general, just a bunch. Here we go. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're going to starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Alright, so... I'm not sure where the other Degassi voice logs are. I think the rest of them are in the crab squid area. But, I think I've gotten enough plants, and I've collected... Pretty much all I need now, so I'm not sure if there's anything left on the island besides that. The only reason I came here was for the plants. Um, but I'll go look and I'll see if there's uh, anything to note. With that out of the way, there was nothing, at least nothing that I could see, left on the island for us. I'm going to get back to base and put this stuff inside our ship and I think we're ready to... I think we're ready to literally live out of the Lorraine. I think the only thing stopping us is our power cell charger 
inside the Lorraine takes up too much power to charge other power cells. So that's the only reason, um, I think, at this point, that the only reason we're going to be going back to our, our own base is, number one, for the water filtration system, and number two, for the power cell chargers. But other than that, I think we are all set to really start going deep. So stay tuned for the next stream. It'll be, of course, on the Endrex Live channel. It will be linked below. That's where I stream Subnautica, and I've streamed it pretty consistently this entire week, and I will continue to do so. Um, as we are we are in the, the Subnautica grind, and I'm really enjoying this game so far, of course. So yeah, feel free to tune in. I stream around the same time, uh, 6 a.m. to 7 to 8 a.m. Um, UTC, I think, is the time zone that I'm in. Or... Anyway, I'll leave the, um... I'll leave the, the actual, like, times, the actual time zone in the description below. Um, but yeah, feel free to tune in. Oh, we would love to have you. And, um, yeah, that's all I gotta say now. So, just thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it safe. Peace.